of Positive Parenting with Astrology. I'm your host, Maria Rieger, also your resident Gemini. Today, I'm going to share with you our Astro Parenting Tip of the Week. This is for parents of Libra children. So Libra is a cardinal air sign. So it's a little different from the other air signs, Gemini and Aquarius. All the air signs have this ability to kind of detach, analyze, step outside of themselves and step into the shoes of the other person. But where Aquarius and Gemini seek freedom and are very independent, sometimes it's even challenging for them to be in relationships because of that need for freedom and independence. Libra is very different. Libra is very relationship oriented. So Libra is associated with the seventh house, which is the house that rules one-to-one -one relationships, including one-to-one -one business partnerships. But it's largely about, so the seventh house is largely about the relationship with the other, the other main person in your life. Typically it's your partner, but it also informs your relationship with your kids. So the point is that Libra people, to them, relationships are very important. They are, they have the air sign quality of being detached and clinical, right? They have the ability to step outside of themselves, step into the shoes of the other person, see things from the other, other person's point of view, all good stuff. However, Libra sometimes goes too far in that regard. Sometimes Libra identifies so strongly with the other person in the relationship that they kind of repress and suppress their own wants and needs okay so they won't off they will often fail to speak up to advocate for themselves because of that kind of almost people pleasing mentality they want the other person to be happy and sometimes that results in them being unhappy or un or displeased or unfulfilled so the tip today is to help your uh, libra kid kind of speak up for themselves and think about things from their point of view so when your libra child is around seven. So this is for largely age six, maybe seven years old and up. So age seven is when children really start to see themselves as a separate entity from the parents to realize that they think differently, maybe have different wants and needs or preferences from the parent. And they really start to assert their independence. This is where you'll start to hear, no, I don't want to do that a lot of the times because they're asserting their aut autonomy. And the, they do that first at home, the safe space, to assert their autonomy. Hopefully, home is a safe space where the Libra child and any child can be their authentic selves. So the tip for you, the parent, is to once in a while, maybe once a month, once every two months, three months, whatever, allow your Libra child to pick dinner. Either plan dinner or pick what type of food you're gonna eat or where you're gonna eat, what restaurant you're gonna go to. So this obligates the child to make a decision. And I want you to make it clear that this is your, you tell the child, this is your choice and we're happy to abide by your choice. You can give any parameters like has to be something relatively healthy or it has to include vegetables or it has to include protein. That's fine, but you let them be the ultimate decision maker. Okay. And if they exhibit anxiety about having to make this decision, which often Libra will do, you say to your Libra child, look, whatever you decide is fine with us, okay? In fact, you're helping me because I don't really wanna have to, you know, make this decision about where to eat or what to eat all the time. So you're actually helping me by planning the meal or planning where we're gonna eat. You're helping the parents, you're helping the family, okay? So that makes Libra feel good because they're part of the team, they're helping the team. And it also feeds their autonomy. With Libra children, you're always gonna have to work on them developing their autonomy and their decision-making authority because they always have, almost always have the tendency to wanna to abdicate their decision-making authority to somebody else because it's easier. Well, just because it's easier doesn't mean it's healthy for them or emotionally healthy or psychologically healthy. So my point is you're gonna to have to get them to make the decision and you know comfort them when they show anxiety about making the decision, tell them, every you know, whatever decision you make, we're fine with and we're going to abide by and we won't complain about it. You're helping me by, you know, taking some of the burden off of me and making this decision. And it also forces them to think about what they want, their preferences, what they like. And if you have multiple children, you can tell the other children, look, whatever they decide is they, that's their decision. You get to decide another day and we'll abide by the choice that you make. But right now, 
your brother or sister is going to make this choice and we're going to abide by their decision. So it may sound like a very simple thing, just let them decide what's for dinner. But to a Libra person, you know, who has so much anxiety about decision making and who is very susceptible to this decision paralysis, the paralysis of choice when you have too many options, uh, you know, this is, a, this is a big deal for them to be tasked with deciding this for the family. And if your Libra child has anxiety because they have too many options, you can narrow it down for them and say, well, here are the five options, you pick one, or here are the three options, you pick one. That may help them be able to make the decision a little more easily because they're not gonna be stuck in this paralysis of you know choice, paradox of choice, it's called decision paralysis. So that is the Astro Parenting Tip of the Week. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below and we will see you soon. Thank you so much.